Hello everybody, welcome back to Quiet Quality Plus playthrough of Tales of Zestaria. Last time we got out of the aqueducts, returned the, the knife, and now we're going to go find a lord in, in the vessel to make a blessed domain over this godforsaken town. Did you catch all that? The last episode that hasn't gone anywhere, just, just watch, just right over there. Or over there, I don't know. It's somewhere. Check. Oh, whoops, I didn't grab that when I was first. <laughs> I didn't grab that when I uh, was doing my catch-up. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter now. I got it. That's the important part. So, hi there. It looks like Father Brunor is out around town on an errand. So it goes. Any clue as to the vessel, at least? Let's see. Something free of malevolence. In the Galahad ruins north of here, there's a pure and clean waterfall. The kings of Highland traditionally bathe in its pristine holy water before their coronation ceremonies. Water of utmost purity. That does sound like something that could be a vessel for a seraph. Is something wrong? Beasts have taken up residence in the ruins of late. Whatever was there was strong enough to kill all ten soldiers who came to drive them out. Hellions? Likely. If we don't hurry, then the waterfall could be corrupted by the malevolence. I take it that's not all, is it? The malevolence is strong in Lady Lake. The holy water will absorb its influence before we have a chance to enshrine and worship it. Water in particular is delicate and easily corrupted by malevolence. Oh, look at Mickey Bicky. Ah. Is there anything we can do? Of course there is. But in that case, we will need the cooperation of a seraph of water. As a fire seraph, I'm afraid I am wholly mismatched. A water seraph, huh? Yes. <sighs> By the way, whatever became of Miklio? I haven't heard his voice yet. What is bitch gonna- Oh, I'm sorry, sort he's just, um... Had a fight. Don't worry about it's it. It's a long story. Anyway, to the Galahad ruins! There's Hellions to smack. That's yeah, true. I'd like to Let's smack do what we him. can, first and foremost. Saray, please let me accompany you. Yes. I would, but you don't have the power to battle Hellions. But... Saray, just as the Prime Lord can have sublords, so too can there be squires to the Shepherd. If Alicia becomes your squire, she can fight against the Hellions as long as she is within your domain. Which is like a ten-foot radius of you. But... This sanctuary... No, make that all of the sanctuaries in Highland. They have always been like this from the time I was born. Empty and depressing? The Highland, overrun with yeah, sucks. is the only Highland I've ever known. I beg of you, Saray. Please, take me as your squire. So well, I usually, I usually call a top bitch, but hey, squire, we can go with that. You know, olden terms, whatever. Just like you'd always dreamed of. As you wish, Alicia. <laughs> so then... How does this work? Oh, getting a little too cl close After and personal up there, Alicia. Give unto Alicia a true name in the ancient tongue. It's a good thing I'm so... Let's see. A true name for Alicia. A new bud forms on the holy branch. Its flowers bring fruit. Its fruit begets seeds. The circle of destiny turns once more. Give life unto the will of the shepherd, and let it be proof of their bond. Thy true name as a squire shall be... Melphis Omechia! Happy to be your squire, Saray. Happy to have one, Alicia. Um, uh, Layla? Hey, 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 girly, come on. What are you doing? What the fuck? What? Somebody was... Oh wait, now we can dress- now we have to dress up Auto divinity? Longer step? Take bigger steps! I take that as a challenge, sir. But I do it. Did I gain other new ones? The 10k bonus.
I mean, I have the ability to, because I'm not using anything else, so I might as well. Okay, now... Whoops. Now... Let's see what we can do to her. <laughs> oh, wow, she has a lot... <laughs> Oh, I just didn't, that's right. Uh, Mila from Exelia 2. Ah, oh, Sharia from Graces. Oh, her outfit from her shitty DLC. Why can't she become an assassin? That's weird. She put on roses. It's like... It's like there's no replacement! <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty cool. I, I just, I'm so fond of her original outfit. I don't know, I just like... It's just, I just like the color scheme better. I hate that. Eh, not too bad. <laughs> I might go with that, but let's see here. What can we do with her? She gonna swear that? Um. Wait, no, hold on, hold on. There was something else. There was something else I wanted to put on. Where was it? Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. It was an angel's halo and angel wings. Yeah. Is there anything else? Oh, oh. There, that's what that means. Okay. So that's good. That's good. Okay. Now to check equipment. That would give her bonus. That would oh sorry, I was already wearing those. All right, then let's just check stat wise. Yeah, those look best. All right. <clears throat> uh, Saray, I think. He loses. He loses a lot by doing that. I lose that one. But I gain that one instead. Um, and there's a step, so I'll switch it out. I can get it back with this with this void ring. I need to keep those on though. Yeah. And then Layla Deer. I should probably just fuse those. Honestly. I'll probably fuse both of these as well, since none of these other things are going to. Nope. Sorry, I need it. And. Yeah, the battle boots. No, it's the amber in the battle boots. So she should just keep those on. Okay. <laughs> I am too easily amused by the costumes in this game. Oh my god, it's so funny. It's just, it's just funny. How much money do I have? I have not a lot. I don't have a lot of money. That's upsetting. Because I had a lot of money earlier, and then they just took it all away from me. Okay, so then do you have a... Uh... Yes, you do. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of money to just go throwing at new shit. Wow, you have a lot of stock. <laughs> okay, so that's a new blade. I can afford a new blade. Oh, does there have any new paper? No. It doesn't have any new paper, so I think I can just get the Ignis Blade, and... This Amber Spear. Yep, that's all I can do. So now I have no money. And it still costs... Yeah, it still costs to fuse. But I'm gonna do it anyway, just because I get... Get bonuses for it. Uh, 
That gets me a new skill. And I have time, I have the ability to do one more. With all wearing that. You needed... No. No, okay, so yeah. And then equip, Saray with the Ignis Blade, and then equip you with the Amber Spear. There we go. All good. Okay, off to the ruins. Hold on. I don't have enough money for that. Anyway, so what does it matter if I did or didn't? I can go search. Well, let's go find Father Bruno then. Why? Or does that just come later? I think he's just telling me that that comes later because I need to go to that freaking. I need to go get take care of those freaking aliens. Hellions! Okay, whatever, dude. Hey, look, a save point. So the world teams with these monsters called Hellions. It cannot be seen by normal humans. And it is they who are the true scourge of the Age of Chaos. Yeah, that sounds about yes. right. The havoc you see in the weather and people's emotions alike all stem from the influence of the Hellions. The Lord of Calamity creates malevolence in Hellions. And the Shepherd's role is to stop him from doing that. As is that of the Squire, correct? I already told Saray much the same, but this is something I want you to determine for yourself. What you want to do with the world, with the humans, with the malevolence. I'd like you to make your own decisions, based on your honest and forthright heart, rather than having them imposed on you by destiny. But is it acceptable to express myself that openly? I'm merely a squire. A squire is not a shepherd's subordinate, but one who provides help to him. There's no need to hold back. Yep. In other words, Top Pitch can talk. Okay. God, this, this, this is joke mind. is going on too far. Count I need to drop it out before I'm I pit, before sorry. before I just say something completely sorry, insulting. But Alicia, you kind of uh, graced me. Uh, I'm so sorry. I was in the moment. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't worry. I'll just singe it up. <laughs> up oh, there, you go. Okay. I need to head, I think. Um, there's a giant rock blocking my way that way, so I need to go around. Alright, well. We'll continue this journey next time on Quiet Call Club. Thank you everyone so much for joining me. Sign off. That's like the epitome of truth telling right there. Purple dragons and green cats, they always tell the truth. Freaking idiot. How did you get up there? What the hell is that? Oh my god, it's terrifying. And it just killed Vivi. What is this gonna-